Do you need some small front porch decorating inspiration? I'm gonna share with you this porch makeover today. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. In case you're new here, my husband and I purchased this tiny lake house last year. We gave it a complete renovation. I will leave a link to all of those videos down in the description box below. If you wanna watch all the room makeovers from start to finish, today I'm going to tackle making this small front porch a little cuter, a little prettier for spring. And I hope along the way, it'll give you some budget-friendly, small porch decorating ideas of your own. Let's get started. This is what the front porch originally looked like when we purchased the tiny lake house. It was completely rotting out. So Sean removed the railings and then he painted the whole thing. And then we both added some nice wide white trim around the door, the window, installed a cute new door, installed a new railing. And then I painted the door this beautiful mint green color called Copper Patina by Bear to echo the mint green appliances and accessories we have in the cabin. This is what it looks like right now. I just wanna make it cuter for spring and for our guests as they come and enjoy this space this season. I already had this faux cedar tree on hand. I bought it a few years ago. Didn't work in the application I bought it for. So I'm going to use it here. I will link it down below if I can still find it. I found this really nice, sturdy outdoor mat with all the beautiful colors at Walmart of all places. Love that. And then I had this bistro set on hand. I bought it at Real Canadian Superstore maybe 10 years ago and didn't need it at home so I brought it over here. I found this mint green colored spray paint and I gave this a spray. So it was originally turquoise which wasn't quite the color that I wanted for the porch. So to make it this mint green I thought would be the perfect accent color to really echo that front door and make it match the whole aesthetic of the cabin. Now that I'm removing all the tape, I love how these turned out. The mint color is so perfect, and I think it looks fantastic against the dark green color of the siding on this front porch. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of coziness. Even though it's spring here, it is still quite chilly, so I just have this inexpensive Amazon blanket. I'm going to Dollar Tree. I wanna create a wooden lantern. So my thought was to use the wood in these little canvases. I grabbed a couple of eight by tens, some five by sevens, and then I also found this battery operated pillar candle at Dollar Tree to use as well. So I found a few sizes of these and then I also found this square base eight by eight piece of wooden canvas at Dollarama. And I'm just removing the fabric part of these canvases with my hands. And then I'm using some pliers and a tool just to pop all of these staples off. So this was a little bit grueling, but it is a really cheap way to get some wood frames to make your own DIY lantern. Now that all the staples are removed, I'm using some Gorilla hot glue in my glue gun. This is a really strong hot glue that's great for fabrics and woods, and I'm applying it to my square base I found at Dollarama, attaching two of the frames to two sides like this, and then I'm attaching the other two frames to the opposite sides, applying the hot glue to the bottom and the sides. So I have two frames that are one size on one side, and then two frames that are the larger side on the other side, and it actually works perfectly and the glue is nice and strong to hold these all together. Once these are all dry, I'm spray painting it with that same mint green colored spray paint to match the chairs that I painted as well. You could stain this or leave it as is. I did wanna make it colorful for this porch. I'm placing it here beside my other planters. I was gonna put the candle inside, but then I'm deciding that the flowers that I found at Dollarama look super cute in here just to give that pop of yellow to this front porch. Also at Dollar Tree, 
I found these faux fern branches. I find the trick to making faux greenery from the dollar store look better is just to buy a whole bunch. So I purchased 10 of these faux fern stems. I also purchased this plant hanger in the metal. I actually like how this one looked. And then I also bought one of these terracotta colored baskets. I'm using all of these faux fern stems for this DIY. I'm removing the rope from the hanging planter. I just thought it looked a little bit cheap and I'm adding the metal one instead. Really easy to swap that out. Next, I'm taking some floral foam that I have on hand, placing it inside the planter, and then I'm adding all of these faux fern stems to that floral foam. So I'm just making sure that I push them nice and deep into the foam and I'm bending all of the branches to make them look more realistic as well. So I find the volume, just getting a lot of them and then bending them a lot to make them look more realistic really helps make them look more expensive than they actually are. Then I just screwed in an eye hook to the top of my porch like this and then I'm hanging this planter and it just adds some life and greenery to this area we cannot have any plants out here yet it's just too cold so adding a couple faux plants really makes it look more cozy and more homelike I've always wanted to use some part of this lemon themed dinnerware from Dollar Tree. I thought these placemats could actually make great outdoor cushion covers. They have very easily washable fabric. They're a great cute little size for my outdoor chairs. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a seam ripper and I am just opening up the seam on one side of one of the placemats. I'm upcycling some polyester fiber fill from a cushion I already have on hand and just stuffing that inside of the placemat. This is gonna make some adorable lumbar shaped pillows. I'm making two of these, one for each of my bistro chairs on the porch. Now I'm taking my sewing machine and I am stitching that side shot once again. If you don't wanna sew, you could just take some fabric glue or you could take that Gorilla hot glue and just glue the seam shut. There's a few options here. I thought sewing would look nice for these cushions. Then I'm taking two of them and putting one on each of the chairs that I have out here. I love how they add this little burst of yellow. The pattern is really fun. It's whimsical. I want this porch to look fun and whimsical because the cabin inside is that too. I also found this really nice tray at Dollar Tree. It goes along with the citrus theme of the pillows. Also thought that these outdoor plastic mugs were actually really nice looking. So I'm adding the tray and a couple of mugs to this bistro set as well. So as a reminder, here's how our front porch originally looked on our tiny cabin. And here it is now for the beginning of spring. I love that I was able to make it cozy and cute on a budget by reusing a bistro set I already had, using some spray paint, creating a couple of Dollar Tree DIYs, and I think it looks so inviting and has a lot of personality. It's a small porch, so I didn't want to fill it up too much, but I think I did add just enough to make it look inviting for our guests. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this small front porch makeover down in those comments below. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos for you to watch next right up here.